Governor Walls, if you were the final voice in the Situation Room, would you support or oppose a preemptive strike by Israel on Iran? You have two minutes. Well, thank you, and thank you for those joining at home tonight. Uh, let's keep in mind where this started. October 7th, Hamas terrorists uh, massacred over 1,400 Israelis and took prisoners. Uh, Iran, or I, uh, Israel's ability to be able to defend itself is absolutely fundamental. Getting its uh, hostages back, fundamental, and ending the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. But the expansion of Israel and its proxies is an absolute <clears throat> fundamental uh, necessity for the United States to have the steady leadership there. You saw it experienced today, where along with our uh, Israeli partners and our coalition, able to stop the incoming uh, attack. But what's fundamental here is <clears throat> that steady leadership is going to matter. It's clear, and the world saw it on that debate stage a few weeks ago, a nearly 80-year-old Donald Trump talking about crowd sizes is not what we need in this moment. But it's not just that. It's those that were closest to Donald Trump that understand how dangerous he is when the world is this dangerous. His chief of staff, John Kelly, said that he was the most flawed human being he'd ever met. And both of his secretaries of defense and his national security advisors said he should be nowhere near the White House. Now, the person closest to them, the, to the Donald Trump, said he's unfit for the highest office. That was Senator Vance. What we've seen out of Vice President Harris is we've seen steady leadership. We've seen a calmness that is able to be able to draw on the coalitions to bring them together. Understanding that our allies matter. When our allies see Donald Trump turn towards Vladimir Putin, turn towards uh, North Korea, when we start to see that type of fickleness around holding the coalitions together, we will stay committed. And as the vice president said today is, we will protect our forces and our allied forces, and there will be consequences. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.